Hello guys, today we're doing the first team transfer, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the FC Porto career mode, it's me Dan back again, and today we are going to be doing the first team transfer, so just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. And if you ain't yet hit the, hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button as it does really help. And don't forget to like the video as well. So thank you guys for that. So as you can see, if you didn't see the last episode, we are Jose Mourinho. He has returned to FC Porto uh, to take over and hopefully win the Champions League uh, again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the team I've kind of you know talked about last episode and uh yeah today is today we're just going to do the first team transfer so let's get into it and let's uh go into the transfer so i thought you know what let's just do we go for it first year i mean we could go for it first year i was thinking about that and then i was like oh, do you know what it's 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 career mode why not so main one Obviously, Neymar. Um, I think, you know, we signed Benzema in the last career mode. And I thought, you know what? Let's go for, uh, you know, let's go for a, a, play, a good player that we've had before. And uh, I think Neymar, obviously, they want they want him out of, from PSG. And, you know, going to going to Porto, obviously, is a, a huge downgrade, I'd say, from PSG. But I think, why not? You know, just sign him. Why not? Um, so, yeah, as you can see, so... Centre-backs, I thought, let's go with a Brazilian pair. Let's go for Bremer and Arsenal's Gabriel. Why not? And then we're going to go with Mazzari as the right-back and then Rafael Guerrero as the left-back for us. Um, and then in midfield, again, Ruben Neves. I thought, why not? He's Portugal. I try to go for, like, Portugal, like a Portuguese type of uh, team. So, obviously, you know, um, Brazilian, you know, Brazil uh, normally speak uh Portuguese so that's why I kind of went with that um as and and we've already had we've already got quite a few Brazilians in the team so I thought you know what let's do that so obviously Mazzari um isn't obviously isn't a isn't uh Portuguese but you know right backs are so sparse in this game so yeah I just go on with him and then obviously uh Mikel Moreno I thought it'd be a perfect partner Perfect partner for Ruben Neves. So there we go. And then obviously Diogo Jota as the, another winger. And then obviously the main man, Rafael Leal. I think we're going to have him as a striker. So yeah, okay, we're going a bit over the top with this career mode, but that's fine. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be okay for the second season. Um, hopefully Neymar doesn't go, doesn't go down as much. You know, he's 89, but I think... If we can keep him as an 89, maybe go up to 90 and then, you know, he will go down eventually. So that's the plan. So um, let's go ahead with the transfers. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, who's going to cost the most? Probably Neymar. 115. Uh, yeah, so it's probably Neymar. So let's go ahead and sign our superstar. And as you know, we haven't got many left. You know, we haven't got many months left anyway. Um, for, should we go to Raimi? We could go to Raimi. Um, yeah, we haven't got many months left anyway in the FIFA 23. So we might as well have some fun uh, for the last couple of career modes that we're doing this season until the new uh, EA FC comes out. Um, right, so let's just go with 70 million plus to Raimi. They probably won't accept that. Oh, they will actually, 79. Um... You know what? Let's just go 75, and they should accept that. And I'll, yeah, I'll take that. So, Taremi in for Neymar. That's not a bad shout, is it? I know spending quite a bit of money there, but again, um, I think, you know, you've got to have these superstars to win the um, to win the Champions League. And, you know, Neymar is going to be our superstar for this season. So, there we go. And he doesn't want a huge wage. Well, I could say that 115,000 is a lot in Portuguese money, but um, there we go. Right, so in you come Neymar. I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to sign him, to be honest, and I thought this this one 
would be uh, the good, you know, good player to play. So Neymar, he will be going into the first team. He's going to be the left winger. I was thinking about May playing him as a cam, but I thought uh, we'll keep Octavio there for now. Um, right, so Rafael Leal, 95. Yeah, let's go with Rafael Leal next. Um, have we got anyone who we can swap or give him a striker? We could give him Tony Martinez because we don't really need them. And again, let's just go 65 just to start off with. They do want him, but 85. Uh, let's get that down to 77. And they'll accept that. So there we go. Welcome to the team, Raphael Lau. So yeah, he's going to be our striker. Um, it probably will take him a year to change him to a striker, but I'm fine with that. Um, so fingers crossed, you know, that'll be good. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll be do that. Uh, he doesn't want a release clause. Wow, okay. Uh, wages is already done for me as well, so that's good. There we go. So Raphael Liao, welcome to the team. Let's see if he goes straight in as a striker. Probably won't, <laughs> but you never know. You never know. He might do. Uh, oh, he does. So there we go. <laughs> so that's good. Right, on to our right winger, who's going to be Diogo Jota. Uh, even though he doesn't play right winger. I was thinking about having Jota as the striker, but I think um, having Liao as the striker, because obviously he's six foot two, I think. He's going to be the like the taller of the strikers. So, and I like, and obviously uh, with Jose Mourinho teams, they normally have a tall striker anyway. So there we go. Right, uh, can we save, can we swap anyone? Uh, we're keeping Ve Pepe. We could pe keep in Galeno. Ron, we're loaning out. Jojo Pere. Oh yeah, I, I got I signed that um, guy just so then you know we can get one of those guys. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think we've got anyone to give them, have we? No. Okay. Uh, should we go? Let's just go in with a cheeky offer, shall we? Let's just go in with fifty-five, just to start off with. And they'll accept that. So there we go. Diogo Yotta. And there, again, another t another um, Portuguese player into the team. Four years. Yep, that's fine. Five years. Disregard release clause. And I bet he wants a bit of money. So let's just go with 70,000 to start off with. And it's auto field for us. So there we go. And welcome to the team, Diogo Yotta. So going, we are going over the top, but that's, but that's fine. You know, we are Porto. We we need to win the Champions League, and we're going to make sure that we can do that. If we don't do that in the first season after these transfers, I do not know. Um, right. So Diogo Yota can go there. There we go. Uh, I need to change this, by the way, to a Cam, and we'll put. Uh, where is he? He's gone somewhere. Uh, Octavio in there. Right, so there we go. Save changes to that one. <clears throat> right, so on to the next one. Bremer. Let's get Bremer in. Let's do uh, centre-back for centre-back. Will they do Pepe for Bremer? And then probably 45 million plus Pepe. They do want Pepe, so there we go. Um, let's just get that down to 50, I guess. 50.9. There we go. We probably could have saved a bit more money for that, but there we go. So, yeah, we've got a Brazilian centre-back pairing. And, obviously, we've got a couple of... Uh, it's got a couple of players. Um, it's just only... It's only um, what's his name? Uh, he's, unfortunately, he's the odd one out. Um, Masrauri. Uh, I was thinking about signing Nuno Mendes, to be honest, actually. Um, but I thought, you know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> We saw, I think we signed him. Didn't we sign him in the last career mode anyway? Um, or was that the Union Berlin one? I think we signed him in the Union Berlin one. Um, but there we go. Right, so Pepe in for Bremer. So there we go. That saved that one. So Gabriel, let's try and get him in. So Gabriel, um, will they do... No, I want to keep David Carmo. Will they do this guy, I guess? Plus 40. Plus the 42 million he's worth. Yep, they do want that guy, so that's good. Uh, let's just get that down to 44. They should accept that. 
or not. They are sticking to their price tag. So you know what? Let's just go in and get them. And hopefully we've got the uh, objective to replace three players in the first team. Fingers crossed we have. If we haven't, I will be very surprised. Um, but hey-ho, let's have a look. So again, let's just go 70,000. And he's accepted that straight away. So there we go. That's good for us. Right, so on to... Uh, does that count as a first-teamer? I don't think it does, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, should we have a look? <clears throat> should we have a look then to see what our objectives are? Oh, we have uh, replaced three players in the team. Okay, that's good. That is good. Right, uh, let's go back to transfers then. So we ain't got to worry about that. Right, let's do Masauri. Uh Oh, hang on a second. He's worth 50 million. And he's got 56... Uh, yeah. No doubt about that. We might as well do that. Um, we might... Yeah, we might as well do that. Because we can save a bit of money there. So he's worth 50... I think the game's glitched out there, I think. I think he should, probably should have had a, like his 70 or 66 or 76 million, but we'll take it. You know, we will definitely take it. So there we go. In you go. Uh, in you go, Mazari. Um, right, so let's go team management and put him in. So there we go. Save changes. And then Rafael Guerrero. So again. Um, I am worried about like both of our both of our left uh, both of our wing backs have got high low, um, but I think we we'll, should be all right. Um, should we give them Vendor? Let's give them Vendor. Why not? And he's only going to cost us an arm and a leg because he's only got, um, yeah, there we go. He's only got twelve months left on his contract. Uh, Rafael Guerrero. So we've got him for quite cheap. So there we go. We shall take that. <clears throat> Right, so let's go crucial, and then we should go five years. No, he doesn't want five. Oh, he's 28, isn't he? I forgot about that. And let's accept that. And there we go. So let's submit offer, and let's accept that. So right, into the team he goes, and then we've got the last two, which are the two midfielders, and then we'll have a look at our first team for the season. Right, so, yeah, Guerrero's already gone straight in, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> we haven't put Gabriel in our first team, actually, have we? Uh, right, so midfielders, uh, should we do, yeah, do you know what? Let's just get rid of Mateus Uribe. Um, we'll get someone in. We'll get someone in. Uh, let's do 35 million plus Uribe. Uh, 37, yep, yeah, that's fine. So there we go. Uh, let's get him in. And the last one will be Marino. Uh, obviously crucial. We'll probably want some money as well. Disregard. The only good thing is that we've got Champions League in the first season. That's the only good thing about this Porto uh, career mode so far. So we ain't got to qualify for the Champions League. We just got to win it. Um, if we can win, like I said, if we can win it in the first season, that would be great. Um... But you never know in the Champions League. You never know. Right, uh, let's put... Uh, oh, Ruben Neves has gone straight in. Let's put Gabriel straight in. So there we go. And then Moreno. Uh, let's do a swap offer, I guess. Let's do... Yeah, let's do him. Stefan Estekakwau. Well, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's do him. Plus, again, 35. They do want him, but they want 49. So let's just change that to 40. And they should accept it. Or not. Uh, let's just go 45 then. Ugh, fine. <laughs> you can have the 49. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so in you go, Moreno. And then that is our first team done. And that's looking not too bad, if I say so myself. Uh, again, crucial. So he's not going to get a... Uh, big wage increase, I don't think Moreno, unless he wants a, unless he wants one, but I don't think he will. 
Uh, let's just go 60. Let's just give him a wage increase. Why not? Right, so there we go. That is our first team done. So we shall have a look at the first team. Uh, so in you go. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Right, so in you go, Moreno. So that, yeah, that is our first team, guys. So that's looking not too bad. Obviously, we're going a bit over the top with Neymar, uh, but we should be all right with Costa and Mazzari because they'll grow. Um, hopefully, these two will grow as well. And then Octavio, he's going to be our cam. And then we have Yota, Liao, and Neymar up front. And then uh, next episode, we'll look at the second team. So I don't think we need to sign uh, much players for the second team. I think there'll be... Not as many as we've signed in this episode, but you never, you, you, you know, you never know. Right, so that's done our uh, brand exposure uh, objectives as well. So that's uh, really cool. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. Next episode, we shall focus on the second team. So let's uh, end it here. So please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.